What about all of those job losses? It's the question that's on a lot of people's minds right now, you know, uh, after the last few weeks of, of unemployment claims. And it's the, the topic today, I, I copied out of here um, a, a copy of the KCM blog today. And if you haven't read it, I'd say go over to kcmblog.com, go check it out. And we were, we're writing blogs every single day on a current you know, topic with regard to this market. It says the pain of unemployment, it will be deep, but will not last long. So let me kind of unpack that for just a minute, the pain of unemployment. So no doubt if you're on this call today um, and, and just Nick, the number of people that you uh, have influence with, you know, you've, you've probably known somebody if, if not felt the pain of unemployment and, and we're seeing some significant uh, uh, unemployment right now, greater in the last few weeks than we've ever seen in this country. Now, we talk about two things when it comes to unemployment. We're going to talk about depth, so meaning how many people are unemployed, and then length for how long. So while we, we're saying this blog, it's going to be deep. There's going to be a lot of people that, that are unemployed through this. In perspective to history, it will not be as long as prior um, uh, unemployment scenarios. We've heard it compared. You know, people are saying, hey, this is going to be greater than, than, the, um, than the, you know, housing collapse or Great Recession. And we're talking about, you know, this is going to be worse than the Great Depression. So I want to address some of those things in this. Okay, so let's kind of, let's kind of start here with uh, weekly uh, unemployment claims, people that file for unemployment uh, each week. We know we started out uh, March there, 3.3 million and went, you know, went up 6.9, 6.6 in the last week. Uh, 5.2, and we'll, we'll get another number this week. So a uh, tremendous amount of unemployment, tremendous amount of people losing their jobs. Now, while we do believe um, these are jobs that are being lost right now, um, due to the pause, that's the pause button that's been pressed in the economy, not due to fundamental issues in industry or with the economy, um, that, that we will see those jobs come back. Now, I'm not saying that Everybody, every one of those jobs are going to come back, you know, when, when restaurants open or is every single server going to get hired back? Is every single, you know, situation in the job going to be replaced? Maybe not, probably not. Um, but we know a lot of those uh, will. So let's compare um, these job losses to the Great Recession. This is telling. So what we know right now, and this number is going to go higher, um, is we have 22 million people that have filed for these initial uh, unemployment claims. The number of jobs created, just to put that in perspective, the number of jobs created over the last 10 years, really since the Great Recession, is 24.8. We'll likely surpass that coming up here real soon. Um, and, and while, again, these jobs have been created, they, these haven't gone away fundamentally. These will come back when the economy comes back. It just gives you comparison. You see in the middle there the 22 million where we stand today. On the right, 8.7 million was the peak uh, or the number of jobs losses through the Great Recession. And so we're looking at a number here of multiples higher than that. So the reason I bring that up is just to give you perspective. When somebody says, well, three times as many people or whatever number are losing their jobs today as compared to 2008, they're right. They're right. And job loss is significant. But fundamentally, what we want to look at is what caused those job losses and how long are they predicted to last? So I'm going to kind of wrap with a, with a couple of slides here. The first is 2020 unemployment rate forecast. So this look at what are major institution, institutions forecasting unemployment to be. See on the left here, Goldman Sachs at 15%, uh, Merrill Lynch at 10%, JP Morgan 8.5%, and Wells Fargo at 7%. So if we look at this, we took um, Goldman Sachs projection at 15%, and then they, they, they kind of give a projection for three years, uh, kind of going out. And we graphed that against the Great Recession and the Great Depression to give you perspective on the unemployment scenario. So let's, let's kind of wrap here on this slide. It says more depth, less length. I want to focus your, your eyes to the top line here where you see two years, nine years, and 12 years. In black, we have the COVID-19 projections, the most conservative meaning the highest projections. Uh, in brown is the Great Recession, and red is the Great Depression. So what you want to look at is you want to look at depth, meaning the number of people that lose their jobs, and you want to look at the length. 
And let's be clear, length is much more important than depth. And so in this, you see us in that hitting the 15% mark that Goldman Sachs has projected. That's the Goldman Sachs projections. But what this signifies is where did we start, where were we at before, and how long does it take us to get back there? Now, Goldman Sachs is saying, hey, we're starting at 15% this year, and then it's going to take us two years to get back to where we were. So it's not going to, you know, we're going to flip a light switch on and, uh, and all of this is going to be over and everybody gets their job back and we just go back to life as, as normal. I think we all know there's some things that got to be figured out. But when we compare that to the, to the length of the Great Recession, we're nowhere near it, where it took us nine years to get back to prior unemployment numbers from, from 2008. And, but, but what we see is much more depth. So the, the equivalent of this is, you know, you want somebody to come up and, and uh, maybe, maybe, you know, hit you in the back of the head and knock you down or just come and just, you know, hit, hit you for a while. Um, and, and, and what would you, what would you prefer there to get it over with or, or what? And so a different scenario there with regard to the great recession and then you compare it to the Great Depression. Uh, nowhere near in depth or in length. Could, could the 15% be revised from today? Absolutely. Those projections more than likely will be revised. Um, now, will it go higher, will it go lower? I don't know, I don't have a crystal ball. But, but to compare this to the Great Depression, or some people have you know, said that maybe in, you know, um, uh, it, it, this does not frame up anywhere near what we saw in the Great Depression of year after year of 20 plus percent in this country of unemployment. Matter of fact, it took 12 years to get back to where, uh, where we were. So that gives a little bit of perspective to the employment piece, not saying people aren't going to be uh, affected by that, not saying it's, you know, um, everything's going to come back on right, right when the economy starts to come back online. It's going to take, take some time, but but this will give you perspective to how, how that all works. 